Hey guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Tiffany C Show, bringing you everything lifestyle. And you know, I always talk about is oftentimes that we're being told to do this and that and all these things, but how do you bring it all together? Family and business and your personal life. Well, that is what the Tiffany C Show is here to do, to help you bring all those things together so that you can live a life that is awesome and stress-free. So I'm helping you kick chaos to the curb with super simple strategies to help you get it all together. And so on today, I hope you guys are having a great day today. And you know, I am just super, super excited about this new show and I can use all of your feedback, any of your comments. If you like what I'm saying, make sure you give me that thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe so that you will know when I am live again next. And so today I wanted to have a conversation because I'm always asked, what do you drink? How do you get going early in the morning if you don't drink coffee? And I wanna say that, you know, I used to drink coffee when I was about, very little. I think I was like seven, eight, and I drank that coffee for many, many years until I was about in my teens. And then one day I said, you know what? I don't want it anymore. I basically just became to where I just didn't like it anymore. And so ever since then, I've just had this all natural. And so I'm just so grateful for that. But I just want to answer the question to everyone who has always asked me, what do you have in the morning? Well, one of the things that I love to have is a nice hot glass of water. Pretty simple. You can boil some water on the stove and pour it in the glass and it feels so good going down, I tell you. And water is good, you know, it keeps you hydrated. And I just like to have me a nice hot glass of water sometimes when I wake up. Another thing that I like is aloe water. Aloe is good for you. It's good for boosting your immune system. It helps you with detoxing. And so it's really good for you as well. And so you basically just take some aloe and you blend it up in the blender with some filtered water and voila, there you have it. But before you do that, make sure that you drain the aloe first into like a glass or something like that so you can get all that bitter stuff out another thing I love 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 is k powder oh man a nice glass of hot chocolate early in the morning and I am good to go love 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 and then it's anti-allergenic and it's caffeine free so who wouldn't want a glass of hot cocoa early in the morning and it's and I don't you know I can't have gluten or dairy so usually I use some almond milk and I have some ingredients over on tiffanyceever.com so if you want to check out some of those recipes feel free to get on over there and check those out too I'll be doing some live ones here um, and uh, coming up shortly. But another thing that I love to have is ginger tea. You can actually take a fresh ginger and put it inside of a glass, boil it out ginger the, the the water and have you a nice glass of ginger tea oh man it's awesome and then i love to have yerba meat um yerba meat is natural energy from a plant source and warm that up have that nice glass in the morning and it's delicious and finally my favorite is the banana chocolate smoothie now i actually do have this recipe on the website itself and you can just get you a nice little spoon of peanut butter, put that peanut butter on there and then have you a banana, cut that up. And then you gather you some ice. I have everything inside of here ready to go. Maybe some water or milk. I like to do almond milk, some ice pieces. And then you just put that all inside your blender. Blend it all up. You see, and it's and then once that is finished, you just open that up and look at that. Nicely blended for you. And we're gonna go ahead and pour that inside of my cup right here. And there we have it. And there you have that, your chocolate 
banana smoothie. And it doesn't even take that long at all. And it tastes delicious. You can add something to it, spice it up if you like, make it to your taste bug satisfaction, whatever it is that you like. I'm sure you will enjoy it. And so there you have it. Those are basically a couple of things that I like to do to really get my morning going. Those are my six pick-me-up tips that I can offer for you today. If you have something that works for you, make sure you post that down in the comments below and I will be more than happy to check that out and check out your links as well. Share that with the community. We can all use some nice pick-me-ups. It's not coffee, I, you know, and so it's going to be a fabulous day. I hope I think it's going to be sunny here in South Florida. But let me know, what is your weather like in your neck of the woods? It's been wonderful. It's been great. I will see you guys again tomorrow, same place. And this is Tiffany C. Everett signing off. You guys have a fabulous day, and I will be chatting with you soon. Bye for now.